Imagine there's a hidden truth that could free you from an addiction you thought was inescapable. A truth so powerful it can change not just what you do, but who you are. Today, I'm going to share with you a path mapped out by ancient philosophers that can help you break free from porn once and for all. You see, the ancient Stoics, thinkers like Marcus Aurelius and Epictetus, understood human impulses better than anyone. They left us a guide to escape the trap of pleasure that modern life pulls us into. And today, we're going to use their wisdom to take back control. This isn't just about quitting a habit. This is about reclaiming your mind and ultimately your life. Are you ready to discover the shocking truth that will make you quit porn forever? 1. The trap you don't realize you're in. You might think it's just a habit. I could quit any time. But here's the shocking part. Porn has rewired your brain and it does it in ways you might not even notice. Every time you watch, your brain floods with dopamine, the chemical that makes you feel pleasure. But here's the catch. Dopamine isn't actually making you happy. It's only making you crave happiness. It's a trick, a biological trap. Ancient Stoic philosophers warned of this. They knew that chasing pleasure without control turns us into prisoners. They called this the tyranny of pleasure, a cycle that traps you in desire. The more you indulge, the deeper the trap gets. But here's the good news. The Stoics also knew how to break free. They knew that if you don't master your desires, they'll master you. And this is the first step toward freedom. Imagine being in a cycle where you keep coming back, not for happiness, but just to satisfy a craving that won't go away. Each time you watch porn, you're reinforcing that cycle, rewiring your brain to crave more. This isn't satisfaction, it's dependence. Scientists have found that repeated exposure to porn dulls the brain's ability to feel pleasure from real-life connections. You're not just watching, you're programming yourself for more cravings and it's isolating you from real relationships. The Stoics called this cycle an illusion, a false promise that drains your strength over time. Epictetus, a Stoic philosopher who lived over 2,000 years ago, warned us about this trap. He taught that true freedom lies in controlling desires, not in chasing them. So, how do you escape this cycle? The Stoics would say, you start by learning to observe your desires rather than being controlled by them. 3. The Power of Awareness The first Stoic tool we're going to use is called prososh, a disciplined awareness. The Stoics believed that we're not controlled by events, but by how we interpret them. In other words, porn doesn't control you. It's your belief that you need it that has power. So here's your first exercise. Next time you feel the urge, don't reach for your phone or laptop. Instead, pause. Observe the feeling. Ask yourself, why do I feel this way? Am I bored, lonely, stressed? Write it down. This small moment of self-awareness, of noticing without acting, might seem simple, but it's powerful. Every time you observe rather than react, you're rewiring your brain, breaking the automatic response. You're starting to separate the craving from the action. This is the first step toward freedom. The Stoics knew that by observing our impulses without indulging them, we build mental strength. And each time you do this, you're making the prison walls of your mind weaker. Imagine standing at a crossroads. One path leads to temporary pleasure, but it's empty, repetitive and addictive. The other leads to strength, resilience and a life filled with meaning. So how do you choose the second path? The Stoics believed that having a purpose, a higher calling, was essential for overcoming our lower desires. Epictetus, who began life as a slave and became one of the most respected philosophers, believed that true freedom came from purpose. Ask yourself, 
What do I want my life to look like? Who do I want to become? When you define your purpose, every moment you resist the urge is a moment you're investing in a stronger, wiser version of yourself. Your purpose gives you something real to fight for. This is the power of Stoicism. Each act of resistance is a brick in the foundation of your purpose. With each choice, you're saying yes to the life you want and no to the life of dependency. This purpose, this vision, is your weapon against desire. 5. Embrace voluntary discomfort to build strength. Did you know the Stoics would put themselves through voluntary discomfort? They would fast, take cold baths, walk barefoot, not because they had to, but because they believed true freedom comes from not being controlled by comfort. You see, when you practice discomfort, you're training your brain to handle challenges without crumbling. The next time you feel the urge to indulge, try choosing a small discomfort instead. Take a cold shower, go for a run, or sit quietly with your craving. This isn't just about resisting, it's about rewiring your brain to find strength in discipline. Each time you choose discomfort over pleasure, you're weakening the hold of your cravings. You're building resilience that can handle any impulse. Think of it this way. Every act of discomfort is like lifting a weight for your willpower. You're training yourself to rely on inner strength rather than external pleasure. Chapter 6 Live Fully in the Present Moment One of the greatest lessons the Stoics taught was the power of living in the present. Marcus Aurelius, who ruled the Roman Empire, practiced this philosophy daily. He said, Waste no more time arguing what a good man should be, be one. Right now you might feel chained to your habit. But here's the truth. The only moment that matters is the present one. When you choose not to indulge in this moment, you're reclaiming your power. You're choosing freedom over dependence. Imagine waking up each day knowing that nothing controls you. Not a craving, not a habit, not even a screen. This is what the Stoics call ataraxia, a state of inner peace. When you're fully present, you're free from regret and free from the grip of desire. When you live in the present, you're not a prisoner to the past or a slave to fleeting urges. You're truly free. 7. The Illusion of Fulfillment in Porn Let's be honest. Porn offers a temporary escape, but it will never fulfill you. Stoicism teaches that real joy doesn't come from external pleasures. It comes from building inner strength and living with purpose. Imagine a life where you feel real satisfaction in genuine connections, in purposeful actions, and in your own strength. This is what the Stoics aimed for, a life of virtue driven by purpose rather than chained by desire. When you break free from porn, you're not just resisting temptation, you're opening yourself to real relationships, real joy, and a life you'll be proud to live. In conclusion, the final choice is yours. Here's the raw truth. Quitting porn isn't about deprivation. It's about reclaiming the life you were meant to live. The Stoics knew that true power doesn't come from indulging every whim, but from mastering them. Today, you have a choice. You can follow the path of instant gratification and regret, or you can choose a life of strength, purpose, and true freedom. The Stoics have given us the way. Now it's up to you to walk it. Thank you for joining me on this journey. If this message resonated with you, consider subscribing. Remember, the path to self-mastery is challenging, but life-changing. The power to change lies within you.